Hello folks. This series of videos is going to introduce the SE Podium version 2.6 user interface and demonstrate the key points of the Podium rendering workflow. Now, this material is going to be aimed at first time SE Podium users, and it's really going to assume no prior knowledge of Podium or even rendering in general. So if you've been working in SketchUp for a while and you're ready to jump into rendering, uh, this is definitely the place to start. Now, prior users that are upgrading from version 2.5 to version 2.6 really don't need to watch these videos in their entirety. Um, relatively little about the core Podium workflow has changed between the two versions. So if you're upgrading now to 2.6, I would recommend watching the HDRI introduction video and then reading the, the version 2.6 What's New documentation. And I'm going to link both of those below. Okay, one more little preamble about the best way to follow along with these videos. Now, I strongly recommend that you have a SketchUp scene open and try these techniques out as I demonstrate them. I'm going to be using this kitchen studio scene to demonstrate most of the techniques, um, but you should be able to follow along with any model that you like. Now, what I don't recommend is opening up a fresh SketchUp scene and just dropping in like a ground plane and maybe a cube because you're, you're not going to get super realistic results when you try out these rendering techniques with just a ground plane and a cube. Uh, it's much better to open up an actual SketchUp project and see these, these techniques in action. So this kitchen is going to be linked beneath the video if you want to follow along in this exact same model. Um, if you're on a slightly slower computer, we do have a couple models that render faster. On the SU Plugins website, under Download Sample Models, um, this very first one here, the Barcelona Pavilion, is extremely fast and it's good for demonstrating exterior techniques. And then down here, I like the Ando Azuma House, which is just a nice fast interior model with a lot of natural light uh, and a nice soft appealing result. But otherwise, you can just follow along with the kitchen scene as I'll be doing. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so Podium's menus and options are found in two locations within the SketchUp interface. The first is the Podium toolbar. And so when you install SU Podium, you're going to see the Podium version 2.6 toolbar floating here in the viewport. You can just dock it wherever you want. And about 95% of the functions that we're going to need to perform are from these seven buttons. Now, under the extensions menu, under SU Podium version 2.6, there's there's a list of options that are either duplicates of what we see in the main toolbar, or in the case of this tools list, there's some utility scripts and plugins that are just, they're used for specific functions, but don't necessarily need to be cluttering up the main interface. For example, if I click reset tilt, it just resets the tilt of the camera. Uh, a super useful function, but it's not something we need a button for. So we'll come back to the, the stuff under the extensions menu, some of those podium extras. Um, but for now, we're going to focus on the main toolbar. Okay, so I think I'll start by identifying the seven buttons of the toolbar and briefly explaining what each of them does. And then after that, we can take a deeper dive into some of the interfaces. So I'm just going to rip this off so we can see a little bit better. And starting on the right here, we have the Podium Light System panel. This is where we create artificial lights. And that includes omnidirectional lights, which are exactly like a light bulb. They just cast light rays in every direction. And then a spotlight, which is exactly what it sounds like. Casts a cone-shaped beam uh, the way they would in a real world. Uh, next to that, we have Podium Browser. And this is the large render-ready content library that comes with about 20,000 components, uh, materials. We've got about 20 categories worth of furniture items, decorations, electronics, dining. And inside every one of these categories, we have hundreds or thousands of items that you can download directly into your scene. Uh, it, it's a lot like the 3D Warehouse. The big difference is that these are pre-configured with SU Podium render properties. So if, if a material is supposed to be reflective, it's already going to be reflective. You don't have to go through and texture these items or assign any sort of material properties. They're ready to render at the click of a button. Okay, so Podium Browser is an extremely powerful resource, uh, and it's a huge, huge time saver. We're going to, I'm going to close the window for now, but we will come back to this and take a deeper look later on. Okay, next to Podium Browser, we have the Analyze Model function. Now, this is a troubleshooting tool, more or less. If I press this button, 
It's going to generate a report that gives me a lot of useful information about the model, especially pertaining to podium lights and materials. So if something goes wrong at render time, this is an excellent first step to try and identify what the problem is. It's going to give me a breakdown of the light sources, the different types of materials, uh, and then it's going to give some alerts. If there are problems with the model, it'll flag them and potentially point you in the direction of the cause um, of the issues that you're having. But we'll take a, a deeper look at this later, uh, but it is a good thing to keep in mind if you start to have issues at render time. All right, next to analyze, we have the options dialog under the gear icon. So we're gonna spend a lot of time covering this interface. This is where we, we choose most of our render settings. So render presets determine the type of scene and quality. Uh, image size, pretty self-explanatory. Image format, model save location, and then under the environment tab, there's settings for the type of sky, the brightness of the lighting, and then a few other options. Uh, I'm going to devote an entire video to the options dialog, so for now, we'll just save and close that and move on to materials. So if I click the swatch icon, this is going to open the material properties dialog. And this is where we assign realistic material properties to the SketchUp materials and textures in our scene. So I select the eyedropper and then sample this tile material. We can see it's got some reflection assigned to it, blurred reflection, uh, and a little bit of bump depth. But we'll go through all this. Just know that the materials palette is where we configure material properties. Okay, so next to the materials palette is the generate current scene button. Now, this is essentially an alternate way of producing renders, and it's useful for remote rendering. So if I wanted to generate a render script on this laptop and then render it later on a desktop computer, that's what this would be used for. But I'm going to hold off on explaining that anymore until much later in this video series. Okay, and last but not least, we have the render current scene button. So this is what we press when we're finished setting up the model, our lighting is ready, our materials are finished, and we're ready to generate an image. So this is the last step in the process. Uh, I press this button, wait for Podium to finish, and then we have an image. Okay, that's it. We made it through the overview, uh, introduced the Podium toolbar. I'm going to dock it back up here. And then in the next video, we're going to start looking at the actual Podium render process. So I'm going to start making a few renders from this kitchen model. And along the way, we'll take a much closer look at how everything works uh, and hopefully give you a really good idea of how to create beautiful images with Podium.